When it comes to investing in apartments, there are a lot of misconceptions and misguided information out there. So here are five lies you might hear about investing in apartments and their associated truths. Number one, investing in apartments guarantees immediate wealth. The truth is, this is not a get rich quick scheme. Investing in apartments, we often say it's not get rich quick, it's get rich for sure. But it's gonna take some time. And don't forget, any investment by definition involves risk. There's no guaranteed returns here. We just project what we're gonna do with the business plan and then we go out and try to achieve that. Success in apartments is often built with strategic planning and time in the market. Lie number two, you need a lot of money to start investing in apartments. This is partially true, but the thing is, investing in apartments is a team sport. There are many different aspects that go into buying and running each property. And if you could do any of that work along the way, you can be involved in the process. Capital is just one way you can be a part of the team and be invested. And even then, if you wanted to start with a smaller amount of money, Money, you could invest in a multifamily syndication where we pool funds from different investors to go out and buy one larger property. Line number three, investing in apartments is always completely passive income. The reality is it can be passive income, but if you're gonna be an owner yourself and if you're gonna operate your own property, even if you have property managers on site, you are gonna be in for a lot of work. The only way to really have passive income is to invest in a multifamily syndication where you invest money with an operator and the operator or the general general partner goes out and does all the work and then you can enjoy passive income as a passive investor. Lie number four, all apartments get high returns on your money. The truth is there are different classes of apartments. An A-class apartment is lower risk, but typically lower reward. It's a nicer, newer asset, but it costs a lot of money to buy these. So your return on investment can be lower. It's just a more stable form of income. Whereas a C-class property is cheaper to get into. It's gonna cost some money to renovate them, but typically you can achieve a higher rental rate per how much money you put in, achieving you a higher return on your investment. So not all properties are the same. Each business plan is unique to itself and you really need to know what you're doing and what you're getting into. And besides that, have a goal with what you want for each investment. Do you want cash flow? Do you want stability? Are you okay with a little bit of risk and get some reward? Or do you really want something low risk, stable, low return? And lie number five is investing in apartments requires an extensive expertise and knowledge knowledge of this space. From A to Z, you have to know everything. The truth is, many investors get involved and figure it out as they go. Also, many investors choose to invest in syndications where you invest alongside an experienced partner. And then you can learn as you go, but you know that the captain of the ship has been through this many times and knows how to operate these businesses. In my experience, that's the best way to get invested. That's the best way to get involved and know that your money is in the best hands it can to achieve a return on your investment. So it's important when you go into an investment that you understand the lies and the truths associated with them so you have an understanding of what your money is going to be doing what that business plan looks like what the industry looks like as a whole and what your expectations can be for the lifetime of this investment for more information you can go to amitycashflow.com my name is chris collins we'll talk to you more tomorrow about investing